It's way more advanced than that. It's more, you know, in what aspects? Is it about like cracking them? Is it like the role they play within protecting privacy? Yeah, it's, it's cracking them. It's uh, the role that cryptography plays in privacy. It's how to, you know, implement secure cryptography. Um, you know, you can't do security without cryptography. And so we want to make sure that we're providing education about cryptography. And the privacy aspects are more on like a policy side or they're more on here is how you make sure your data is kept private or more here's how like enterprises should be dealing with privacy. Yes. <laughs> yes, the answer is all. Um, all we've had it. legal talks on privacy, policy talks on privacy. Um, we have folks uh, this year from the uh, consumer, the CFPB, the Consumer Federal, the Financial Protection Bureau for why I'm blanking right now is really it's, bad. I'm sorry. It's um, consumer pri privacy. I don't know it either. No protection. It's protection. consumer financial. It's one of those things protection. at DEF CON. Yeah, you have a camera in front of you. You have been awake for yeah. I don't even know how many hours with maybe 20 minutes of sleep and they're perfectly yeah. <laughs> perfect. What's your talk about? What's my talk about? Um, this is our ninth year of running the Crypto and Privacy Village. I founded it while I was studying for the bar exam and I'm retiring. So it's my retirement talk. Oh, this is so cool. So. You founded this. Yeah. How does one found a village? That's repeat, a... Repeat the question for you. <laughs> so you founded this village. Yep. How does one found a village at DEF CON? That's a really interesting question. Back in 2014, uh, we posted on the forums that we wanted to do something. And Jeff said, sure, we'll give you a room. And we went to the room. And we had a projector and people showed up and we kind of kept doing it every year afterwards. And each year got a little bigger, a little bit more legit. And uh, now we're a 501c3 that's completely volunteer run. That's so cool. Like one of the coolest things we noticed, like, so we, me and Gower were planning content. Yeah. And we looked at the villages and we go, okay, like what does this village have? Like, you know, lockpick village. You go pick locks and there is trainings and there's talks that happen. I'm like, oh, crypto privacy. I haven't really heard of this one. I haven't really been to that one. It's a newer village. What could they possibly have? And it is like crushed with talks. It's back-to-back -back talks. Yeah. You could spend your entire con here yeah. and have back-to-back -back talks plus challenges and things yeah. like that. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we've been around nine years. So like we're one of the rich OG villages. So, um, you know, we have a really lovely group of people who come every year um, and are speaking talk. Uh, the folks who have submitted to our CFP just get better and better every year. And now one of the challenges you have right now is the golden bug crypto challenge. Yep. Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, so each year we do some sort of puzzle challenge. Um, in previous years, it's been a black badge challenge. Um, and it's various types of puzzles that you have to solve uh, during your time here at DEF CON. Okay, now and I'm assuming, obviously we're in the crypto, one of those challenges might be anything from beginner or to intermediate, or is it you need to be an expert to jump into the CTF? Definitely don't need to be an expert to jump in. We like to have a variety of different types of puzzles for different skill sets so that people get some more information and you know, kind of get hooked in. Excellent. So where would anyone go if they want if they weren't here at the con and they wanted to check it out? Where could they go to learn more information? Yeah, so you can go on our website, cryptovillage.org. Um, for the uh, gold bug, it's goldbug.cryptovillage.org. You'll see a BBS nice. and that's your entry. And you can compete remotely in that Yes, challenge. you can compete remotely. Oh, that's great. Well, hey, thank you so much for the time. Yeah, thank no you problem. for all of the work that you've done in this village. Really making it big. I cannot believe it's been here for nine years. It shows that the con is just growing bigger and bigger and you can lose yourself. Yeah. Thank you for, thank you for sharing. Thanks for watching and as always, hack on.